Hello everyone and welcome to another Your Next Stamp video. I'm going to use plenty of Your Next Stamp supplies in this video. So first up is Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink. This is a Copic friendly ink, even though I'm actually not using my Copics today. Um, but at this point in filming the video, I really had no idea what I was going to use, but it doesn't matter. I don't use Gamsol with my colored pencils. So either way, we're using the black olive ink and Nina 110 pound cardstock. I love using the mini Misty for this task so I can stamp it multiple times on multiple sheets of paper. This way I have backups when I make mistakes in coloring like this card. I made plenty of mistakes, but we're first altering this image just slightly. I'm adding a little bit of a skate on the bottom of his boot. Um, I just wanted him to be an ice skating unicorn. So I'm just using the Copic multi-liner to add a little bit of a line to make a skate. I'm using my Faber-Castell uh, Polychromos to color with today. Um, I also have some Prismacolor pencils, but I I haven't been reaching for those as much as the polychromos. Um, if you do not enjoy coloring, please skip ahead to the number you see on the screen. That way you do not get bored with the coloring. Um, it's a very unique color combination. So I did make a polychromos color map. This is all the, all, all the pens and pencils that I used to create this image, but, um, I'm showing, I, I've, I only cut out the parts where I walk away and do something else. <laughs> so you get a sped up version of me coloring this. Um, I wanted a mint green and coral color scheme. Okay. For the card. I think that it's kind of coral. You don't have very corally colors. Um, I think in the polychromo set. So you have to be creative and kind of, mix some pinks and reds and oranges together. Um, I have a real, it's a really dark coral, like a burnt, it's a burnt coral. What is burnt coral? That's a terrible name for a color. Anywho, um, my unicorns are typically white. So this one's a kind of a warm gray, white unicorn. I continued that coral color uh, on the, his socks or the top of his ice skates or whatever you want to imagine they are. And in his scarf, there's like stripes of the coral color. And then I did this mint. Mint is another color that's not in the polychromos. So you have to be creative. And so I tried this kind of gray green color and uh, like a light blue, M mixing those two together to try to get a minty shade. It thought, I think it looks minty. Let me know in the comments below if you think it turns out minty. <laughs> Colored pencil coloring is very time consuming. And so this took a really long time. That's why A, it needs to be sped up. Um, and, you know, <clears throat> I can't show like really large images. Like I went to color that tree and I got overwhelmed because it's a big image and I'm coloring it with a colored pencil. Now, when I was a kid, I could knock that thing out, but now, you know, it gives me the heebie-jeebies to color that with the colored pencil. Does that any, does anyone else feel that way? Like they have to have smaller images with their colored pencils? I don't know. Copics, I'm slathering that stuff on like nobody's business, but I don't know. I get intimidated when it's a colored pencil and it's that large of a tree. So I did not end up using the tree. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Even that balloon gave me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, it's a very wide part of the image. I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. So I'm very selective when I use my colored pencils, depending upon how detailed the image is or how broad the image might be. Copics get more I don't know, they more coverage. So I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's a time thing. Maybe I just get annoyed with it and uh, wanna be done. I don't know. But I'm also coloring his shirt minty. Okay, so we got burnt, coral, and minty is the color combination for this. Let me know if you like it. Um, I think it's kind of unique. I haven't done anything like that. At least I don't think. I really get all of my color combination ideas either from Pinterest I have a color combination board on Pinterest or just from something I've seen like in a magazine or movie or something um, is where I get the color combinations from. Um, 
Pinterest is awesome for this though. Like just even a picture that interests you could have colors that you can pull from it to create your scene on your card that you're creating. So I wasn't sure how this color combination was gonna turn out. So I needed to sort through some cardstock. No judging. And I have a lot of mint cardstock, okay? I have a lot. It's a very soothing color, okay? So here is my selection that I want to choose from, and I'm using my image and my color combination to kind of pick which one kind of matches best. I ended up pulling out uh, Paper Tray Inks Aqua Mist and Stampin' Up's Pool Party, and Aqua Mist won. It was slightly lighter. That was it. And I mean hairs light. I have cut a panel down to three and a half by four and three quarters, and I used the Winter Trees die by Your Next Stamp to cut out the top. It's an edge die, open edge die. These are my favorite edge dies. I'm using uh, Distress Oxide in Stormy Sky and a Nouveau Blender Brush. Um, I got a smudge, so I needed to use my Tombow Mono Sand Eraser to get off the smudge. I don't know how I did it, but I got a smudge. Two of them, apparently, that I forgot about. I'm using my Surface Sweep uh, by Nuvo to get off all of those extra things, but look, it's fabulous now. So I picked up these uh, blender, mini blender brush things, foams. Uh, I don't know. Let's try it out. It feels just like a big foam pad, but it's a little one. <laughs> and this was not the right tool for this job. Okay, I had a hard time inking the edges of this and it was probably operator error. Okay, you got to be 10% smarter than the blender brush. This ice rink is from the skating rink die set by Your Next Stamp and I'm loading it and the background into the splatter box. So I broke my toe a few weeks ago and I've learned that when you spill something and flinch, yeah, that hurts. <laughs> Caught on camera. Do let me do let you to quit. Hey, hey. I don't let anything keep me down, honey. I'm using one of these syringes to clean up my mess. I am so thankful that I had these around. I sell these in my Etsy shop if anyone's interested. I usually use them to apply a precision adhesive, but I was sure glad to have it around just to clean up my mess. <laughs> I am splattering with the Ranger splatter brush, I think it's called. I'm using a uh, picket fence, acrylic paint, and pumice stone. That's what I spilled all over the place, my pumice stone. So you know I had to clean it up. Um, so I just made a big mess and then I'm taking out the background portion and leaving in that little pond. I want the pond to be sparkly, so I'm spraying with everything I've got. Hero Arts White Iridescent, I've got Sukaneko's Frost and Sparkle, which I have to replace by the way. Um, now I'm taking some brown, I think this is a uh, paper tray ink, I'll link it below. Um, I can't read that tag, it's too tiny. But I'm cutting out the picture frame die by Your Next Stamp and making sure all of the parts and pieces are out. We're gonna start putting this card together, but first we need a sentiment. I'm prepping a piece of that brown cardstock, uh, stamping with Nouveau's Clear Mark embossing powder or uh, embossing ink, and using Ranger White embossing powder to heat emboss my sentiment. I originally did it on the brown, but I liked this coral color better. Um, now I'm inking the edges of the sentiment with the same. Stormy Sky Distress Oxide ink, but this time with a Sukaneko uh, stencil brush. And then make sure you wipe off your letters just to give it a little extra, a little extra. I'm using uh, scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive and some white craft foam to adhere to the back of my panel so I can pop it up on a Simon Says Stamp Fog card base. I'm using Lawn Fawn's Glue Tube uh, liquid adhesive to adhere my pond that I coated with crystal glaze and had to wait nine years for it to dry. Um, and then Scotch 3M foam tape from my Skating Unicorn. Also, I used some Daris foam adhesive there. Um, for the back of my picture frame. Then I added a little bit of twine, uh, punched a 1 16th hole in my little sentiment there and made just like a little tag kind of thing and tied it with a bow. I don't know. I'm ready to tie some bows though. How about you? 
I'm using a glue dot to keep my tag straight. I didn't want it to be loose. No loosey goosey tags. I needed it to be straight. So I'm just adhering it with like a little piece of glue dot. That's my card. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, find me, find your next stamp on social media. Leave a comment for me down below. Give me a thumbs up. Until next time.